and welcome to the part three session on percentage. You can reach out to me via Twitter. My Twitter handle is at the rate Ravi Handa. Today we are going to talk about successive percentage change. Well, to understand successive percentage change, you first need to know what it is. What it is is, let's say a particular quantity increases by 10%, then it increases by 20%, then it increases by 30%. That is known as successive percentage change. It could be one of them is positive, two of them are negative. That also is successive percentage change. The problem is a lot of people make mistakes in something like this. A 10% change with a plus 20% change and a plus 30% change. A lot of people think that you can simply add them up. You can simply say that the total change in case of 10%, then 20%, then 30%, is effectively 10 plus 20 plus 30 or 60 percent but if that is what you think you are wrong here is how you can solve these questions let's say if you have an a person change and a b person change and then a c person change it is effectively given by x being your original value into 1 plus a by 100 1 plus b by 100 and 1 plus c by 100 what i'm trying to say is let's say if there was a hundred value which was 100, which increased by 10%, then by 20%, and then by 30%. Then what will be the final value? Let's say you start with 100, 10% change makes it 110. You add another 20% to it. Now this 20% is not of 100, but of 110. That means you add how much to it? You add 22 to it, or it becomes 132. Then when you add 30% to it, the third and the final time, this is not going to be 30, it is not going to be 30% of 110, it is going to be 30% of 132. 30% of 132 is 39.6, which will lead you to the final value of how much is it? If it was 40, it would have been 172. So it is 171.6. As you can see here, 171.6 is not a 60% change, but a 71.6% change. You could have calculated this by the formula also, the formula that I have mentioned here. Let's see how. Original value you have taken as 100 into 1 plus 10 by 100 into 1 plus 20 by 100 into 1 plus 30 by 100, which if you notice carefully is nothing else but 100 into 1.1 into 1.2 into 1.3 and if you multiply this 1.1 into 1.2 into 1.3 into 100 do you know what value you are going to get yes you are going to get the same value that you had got above 171.6 from 100 you are getting to 171.6 that means your change was 71.6 percent this idea of getting the final value by formula comes in most handy to you when you have two values. Let's say successive percent change of A percent and B percent. Then let's say if you have a 10 percent change and a 20 percent change, either you can do it this way where you calculate all the entire values or you could apply the above formula or you can simply use the formula which is given here that is A plus B plus AB by 100. If you use that, let's see what will you get. 10 plus 20 plus 10 into 20 by 100 and how much is 10 into 20 by 100 that is 200 by uh, 100 or 2 which gives me the value of 10 plus 20 plus 2 or 32. As you can see this is much easier than either of the methods. In the first method you would have to do this much first get 210 then 20 percent. In the second method also you will have to do at least this much, you'll have to multiply 1.1 and 1.2. Here, the value is very correct and you got it directly very, very easily just by using A plus B plus AB by 100. Now, some of you might think, will this also work in the case of negatives? Yes, it will. Let's say, take off an example of a particular shop, which offers you a 40% discount, a 40% discount and a 60% discount after that. Then what is the net percentage change? We will calculate it 
by let's say my original method of the values from 100 a 40 percent change will take it to 60 another 60 percent drop that means a drop of 36 rupees on 60 rupees see originally we started with 100 rupees 40 rupees discount took it to 60 rupees another 36 rupee discount took it to 24 rupees which if you notice is a net of 76 percent now let's do it by the formula which is a plus b plus a b by 100 but you need to be very very careful when you apply the formula a plus b plus a b by 100 these are discounts that we are talking about so discounts are negative so this will be minus 40 minus 60 and then product of minus 40 and minus 60 that by 100 let's see what you get minus 40 and minus 60 is minus 100 then minus 40 into minus 60 is 2400 by 100 or 24 which gives you minus 76 minus 76 percent is your discount which you had got by the original value <coughs> excuse me which you had got by the original value also above so i highly recommend that you use this particular formula instead of going by the long calculative methods if you have more than 10 more than two values well then you can use the above formula but do not do it by overall calculations there is another thing which i like to tell you that is the percentage changes are uh, multiplicative in nature which essentially means that if instead of a percent b percent c percent it was c percent then a percent and then b percent would your result change no it would still remain the same why because they are multiplicative so let's say if a particular shop offers you 40 percent discount and 60 percent discount whereas there is a rival shop which offers you 60 percent discount and a 40 percent discount which shop should you go to well you can go to any shop that you like because 40 percent and 60 percent and 60 percent and 40 percent they are going to be exactly the same the order of percentages does not matter please remember the order of percentages does not matter what matters is their values and whether they are positive or negative that is whether they are increasing or decreasing with this, I'd like to wrap up this session. Please provide feedback via Twitter at my Twitter handle at the rate Ravi Handa, or you can also email me on my mail ID, which is ravihanda at gmail.com. Thank you guys.